Now guys, I want us to speak about this wonderful woman, this 123 years old virgin elder woman. You know what, I've been thinking to myself, how did she manage to be the, a virgin up until this time? A 123 year old woman, a virgin. She is my queen, I am so proud of her. But what I want to know is that how did she say no to a man when a guy in her early days era, in her youth days era, when a guy would come and approach her? What, what is it that she said that maybe made her to be able to stay alone without a boyfriend? and a husband. She does mention in the video that she has never seen a naked man in front of her eyes or with her naked eyes. She never seen a man naked. So I would like to believe she was never even touched by a man. Now, this got me thinking what she did when she used to have, or what is it that she do when she has sexual feelings, you know, when she has sexual desires. Ask me about love and relationships and how I managed to reach this age without a boyfriend or a lover. Well, my story is a bit different. <laughs> In the depth of profound solitude and overwhelming loneliness emerges an old woman whose life is steeped with misery, agony, and unfathomable pain. Untouched by intimacy and covered in wrinkles, Teresia has never seen the nakedness of a man and for 122 years, she lives on with the unfulfilled desire, a defiant hope, and a courageous spirit of waiting that one day a man will emerge and embrace her soul. Usanzwe uyu mukecuru twe twakuza ababyeyi bacu batubwira yuko ari umu mama wisugi atigeze abana numugabo. Oh yeah, you had me right. This woman here is 123 years old, and yes, she had never spent a night with the company of a man. For years, she has patiently prepared herself for the profound connection with the man hoping that one day she could fill the void in her heart. But despite her best efforts, fate has dealt her a cruel hand, leaving her without the love she has longed for and burdening her spirit with disappointment. Why is this woman still a virgin? And why is she still waiting for her soulmate? This is her incredible story. It's hard to believe. But on the first day of the last century, Teresi was born, and today she might be the oldest person alive. In a record held by Maria Brantas Morella, a Spanish woman who was born in 1907 and is now 116 years old as of May 2023. But despite her rare longevity, Teresia is not a happy woman as she has never been satisfied by a man, a desire which she still craves for. In all my life, I never had a husband. I'm 123 years old. It's true that I'm a virgin at my age. If I had had a husband, maybe I would have some children, but I don't have any. How did she fulfill those feelings? Does it go with the mind? Because people would say that I can stay like two years and not have sex. Some people would say that. 
some would say, I can stay a year without having a sex and be just single. But the difference is, in our days, there are toys that people use so that they can fulfill their sexual de desires. Now, in this elder woman's case, I don't think so in her early days or in her youth era days, those things were accessible or available. Guys, I want you to share on the comment section what do you think that has helped her to fulfill her sexual desires? Do you think she did not put it in her mind that she needs to sleep or fulfill her sexual desires? Don't you think maybe at some point she wanted to have a family, to get married, have a family, have grandchildren, and by now I believe she would have a great grandchildren. A hundred and twenty-three years woman, and she's a virgin. I stand her. She's my queen. I stand her. I say that without fear or favor. She is the queen that she thinks she is. But if you can compare her and with the woman of our generation, do you think we can reach that age without having sex? Do you think we can do that? I want us to engage in the comment section. I want us guys to, 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 to debate about this, to talk about this. Do you think the woman of my generation or our generation and the woman of her generation, is there a big difference? Is it because the food, is it also has something to do with the food that we eat and the food that they use to eat does have something to do with our bodies that makes our bodies not to not to stay and not to have sex i, I also want those in in health fields you know if you are in a health space you know, if you are in a science space, you are welcome to share in that part of the food that we eat that could maybe make us the women of our days um, not, to, not, to, not to stay and not to have sex. And what is it that you can share to us that maybe the woman of her time, the elder woman, they did not eat everything. Maybe they were not exposed to alcohol and other stuff. Hence, they can manage to stay that long without a man. And this is, this is a broader topic, you know, because most of our parents back in the days, our fathers used to go into another countries or go to bigger cities, leaving our mothers in the, in the villages or back in the townships to, to, to search for work, you know, for better jobs so that they can provide their families. Then most women will be left in the villages or townships to raise their kids then the fathers will come once a year or twice a year then you will see a woman falling pregnant just because their husband was at home but in our days you will find that there is no way a man will go into another province and stay that long and a woman that does not follow Obviously, women will follow and visit their husbands in our days. Or you will find out 
women are, are cheating because they need that sexual desire. So they just cannot stay without a man or husband for that long. I must say I'm so proud of this elder woman, a 123 years old virgin. Wow. Wow, guys, I want us to engage about this on the comment section. And also, you know what, uh, what makes it very interesting is that in our days, there are a lot of diseases. There are a lot of diseases such as HIV, STIs, AIDS, you know. I'm not saying just because someone is a virgin uh, might not get HIV. Because as we all know that HIV has other ways of being transmitted um, except being sexually active. But in most cases, you, find, you will find that those that take care of themselves, what I mean by saying taking care of themselves, those that do not sleep around or are not sexually active or uses protection are in lesser chances of getting the STIs. So I'm thinking, I'm really thinking to myself that how does someone stay that long because it is long and not have sex or fulfill a sexual desire guys let's engage on the comment section please share with us maybe how long have you stayed single or how long have you stayed and not being sexually active because you can be some people might say yes we can be single but I do have sex. That does not mean I'm si because I'm single, I don't have sex. Some will say, Tash, yes, I'm single, but I do, you know, have sex. Guys, let's engage in the comment section. I would like, this is very interesting. Or would you stay that long? Would you stay maybe five years without having sex? And if not, or if so, how do you fulfill your sexual desires? Because it's something we were born with. It's, it's, it's not a bad thing to, to have sexual desire. We were born with this thing. So if that woman can stay that long without a man or without being sexually active, it means that another human being can do it. But with the women of my generation or with the women of our days, Guys, in our era, do you think that the women of today can stay that long without having sex? Keep those comments section uh, popping. I would love to hear about that. Thank you for watching.